You can create flashcards in Moodle, and it can be done by using a pre-existing list or a program like Quizlet. I like using Quizlet because you can find sets of flashcards in here that other teachers have created. The only thing I'd caution you against is using the flashcard sets with images. Um, you have to clean that up a little bit. Uh, here are 31 terms on volcanoes. That should be enough to keep my students busy. Nice definitions. Of course, you want to take time to select your set that works with your class. And you can then go to more. And under the more feature in Quizlet, you can export them. And you want to use tab or comma delimited. I like the comma because I can see it as opposed to the invisible tab. You can also use a semicolon or use a um, custom delimiter if you want. Then I can select all. I'm going to copy this. And now I'm ready to copy this list right into the flashcard module in Moodle. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'll go back to Moodle and I have one created here, but I'll start from scratch. And there's an option here called flashcard set. I'll click OK. And I'll call this demo two. And you can create a summary, but I don't usually do that. And there are many options. I use the defaults unless there's something I'm trying to look for here, like the time or the delay. Click that. It'll bring you back to the Moodle menu, and then you can go in and edit this demo too. And you can get to the edit by just clicking here. And these are the playing options. This is the summary that you can go back and edit. You can edit each card individually, so you can create the cards right in Moodle. But if you want to use a list that you've created in a spreadsheet or a list from another program like Quizlet, you can use the import feature. So I'm going to import this comma delimited, and that's the separator here, the comma. Um, set of flashcards from Quizlet, and then there is a return or just a carriage return in between each card. So the cards are separated by a return, and the field, the um, term, and then the definition are separated by a comma. And you can see that here. And then I'm going to confirm that when I import that, my previous cards are going to be affected, but I didn't have them that's okay. I'm going to import and you can see there's my question. There's my answer. Question, answer. All 31 of those terms from Quizlet have been pulled in now with the definition in place and I didn't have to type those. And now I can look at the play options. There's different options on how the students play these. You can experiment with that, how they interact with the flashcards. Um, and then once they do interact with the flashcards, actually the summary is different. The summary is, did my student use these flashcards? What's their status in the use of that? And it will actually keep that data for you in Moodle, and you can see if the students are taking advantage of this feature by user, or you can look at the card. They get through all of the cards. So when you have done that, you can update the flashcard set, and you can then go in as a student, which I encourage you to do often, switch your role to student, and Take a look at what this looks like as a student. What does it look like when I'm playing this? Tephra. Hmm, what is Tephra? Is that a pyroclastic? Hmm, it's in materials ejected from a volcano. Okay, so I can say I got it or I missed it. And if I got it, it removes it from the deck and I won't be asked that question again. And I can go through, hopefully not 31 terms, but I did use that as an example. 
on volcanoes and you see that you can integrate the flashcard feature with your Moodle experience for your students.